Well, this is a popular craft, fe craft festival. It's held once a year right here in Salt Lake City, and it's now expanding. Because Craft Lake City Festival only happens once a year, the people behind Craft Lake City have created the Craft Lake Artist Workshop Series. And here to tell us more about it is Angela as well as Holly. I'll tell you, Craft Lake City, that's a mouthful. It sure is. <laughs> I like it, though. So what is Craft Lake City? How did you guys come together? Sure. No, Craft Lake City, this was we're leading into our fourth year, which will happen August 11th at the Galvin Center in downtown Salt Lake City. And it's just a really fun event that celebrates handmade items and kind of the do-it-yourself movement that has been growing in popularity over the so past huge. three or five years. Yes. And, uh, you know, um, with Craft Lake City just happening once a year, we decided to start this artist workshop series as a way to not only um, encourage people to make things year-round, but also to get the community involved to learn how to make crafts themselves and maybe sign up to do a booth of their own at Craft Lake. That's great. And Holly, you're a crafter yourself, and you brought something here, a do-it-yourself project. This is darling. Thanks. I like this. Thank you. A paper chandelier. So at these seminars or classes, will you have those throughout the year where people yes. can come? Yes. Um, they're bi-monthly, so they're every other month leading up to August. And we feature Craft Lake City alum like Holly, who've participated in the festival in past years. And um, we, we kind of bring them to the public and say, hey, let's learn how to make what Holly's making. And mm -hmm. so this Monday is the next Artist Workshop Series. Mm -hmm. This Monday? This Monday on February 6th. And it will be at the Utah Museum of Contemporary Art, which uh, they just re branded. They used to be the Salt Lake City Art Center. Mm -hmm. They're kind of sandwiched between a Bravenel Hall and the Salt Palace. Great venue. Yeah. yeah. So Now, is there a fee to take part in these um, classes? There's just a $5 material fee. Oh, nice. And that just covers all the supplies that it takes um, for us to, you know, teach you a craft and take it home with you. And what I really like about this idea is that you meet other men or women that are into doing the same things that you like to do. And you got it right. That do-it-yourself movement is huge. The Pinterest, you know, yeah. you get other ideas. I yeah. think you feed off people. And it feels so good just to make something that, you know, that you made yourself and give mm -hmm. it to a friend or keep it or, you know, bring your kids involved and it's just really fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you brought this chandelier and easy, you already have it mostly done for me this morning, Holly. I love that. What are some other um, crafts that you'll be doing at your workshops? Um, well, let's see. Um, and, you know, in the future, we actually, um, they're kind of a surprise. We haven't re released the artists that will be um, working in the future. Um, but on Monday night, we are going to be making these little chandeliers, these cardboard chandeliers. So this is so cute. And, you know, the thing with crafts, you, there's multiple uses for these. I could already envision my Christmas tree next year. How sad is that? My husband <laughs> at home would be like, she is serious, too, <laughs> with these little chandeliers. All right, we're going to put all the information on our website, Fox 13 now.com. It's right there on your screen. The next workshop coming up February 6th, just in a few days at 630 at the Utah Museum of Contemporary Art. Holly, Angela, thanks so much. Thank you. And it's always a fun event. Come August, we'll have to have you back before the big, oh, the big blowout. We would love to. Crafters love to. and glitter and glue. <laughs> thanks so much.